Good afternoon, Ajita. Thank you for being with us again. It's great to see you. Good afternoon, Jim. Thanks for having me again. Oh, we're always glad to have you. Now, I understand today you're going to be doing a demo on PCARD. Are you ready to go? Absolutely. All right, take it away. Sounds great. Thank you so much. Alrighty. So, thank you everyone for joining today for Fiscal TV. And I would like to introduce our new PCARD Power BI Transactions Report. So this report provides the details of PCARD transactions exceeding $7,500 for an individual merchant, as well as $2,500 per transaction. So the report will help departments to maintain compliance with the Consolidated State Contracting Manual and statute for when a purchase order or PO is required. So as you all know, a PO is required for all PCAR transactions valued $2,500 and above and all leveraged procurement agreement purchases. When purchases are to an individual supplier that have reached $7,500 within the particular calendar year, a purchase order must be issued for the next purchases. Depending upon any dollar amount, the purchase order has to be created. Now, for this PCARD transaction report, now it is listed in the overview tab. So this is the PCARD transactions report overview. And further down, it has three more dashboards, transaction details by amount, transaction details by merchant, as well as transaction details by chart field. I will explain those later as we move further. Once you open up the PCAR transaction report overview, you will see four dashboards here created. The business unit is defaulted always to your business unit, and the year will be defaulted to current year. If you want to see any previous year data, you can always drill down and go to the any year you would like to. For example, I don't want to see the current year data. I want to see the 2021 year data. So I can simply go ahead and change it to 2021 and all the transactions listed for 2021 will be displayed. Now let's go back to the current year data. As you can see here, merchants by amount, all of these merchants, you know, doing business or department 7760 has created purchase order will be displayed here. These are also color coded for the merchants where the total spent amount is between zero to four thousand and nine hundred and ninety nine dollars are highlighted as blue for purchases or merchants spent the dollar amount five thousand to seven thousand four hundred and ninety nine is listed as yellow and for $7,500 or more for that calendar year is listed as red. As you can go down here, you can see that color coding and you can click on any of the merchant and you should be able to see their transactions spent in that particular calendar year. As you can see, this dashboard is completely blank because there is no transaction amounting to $25 $2,500 or more. However, when you can see over here for this tab, you can immediately see the transactions which are $2,500 or more for this particular merchant. Furthermore, when you go to the transactions amounting to $2,500 or more, you can see the color coding here as well. Red indicates no PO. That means this transaction requires a PO to be created in the system. The transactions which are in black, that means they all have POs. Now let's go to the voucher status by business unit. As you can see here, the voucher statuses are paid and not selected for payment. So you can definitely indicate how many vouchers are already paid and how many vouchers are not yet selected for payment. Furthermore, when you go to the transaction statuses by business unit, you can see the statuses as closed, staged, and verified. That means how many transactions are closed, how many transactions are in staged status, and how many transactions are in verified status. If you can simply click over here, 
for the staged transaction, you will again get the data for all the staged transactions in the system, which are not yet reconciled. Further, if you click on verify, you will get the data on how many transactions are verified in the system. Currently, we do not have any data to show for this current fiscal year. Let's go further more and search for a different business unit. So as you can see here, now you can see the color coding more prominently. This particular BU has only one merchant where they have spent $7,500 or more. This particular merchant is between the threshold of 5,000 to 7,499. And all of these merchants are below $5,000. As you can see, they have only two transactions which are amounting to $2,500 or more. And this red indicates that there is no PO created for these particular transactions. So this will help the department to identify which transactions are missing the purchase orders, which are amounting to $2,500 or more, and they can comply with the policies. Furthermore, you can reach out to DGS for all policy related questions. Now let's move on to the transaction details valued at $2,500 or more dashboard. Here you can see there are different parameters than the overview tab. Business unit, department, merchant, supplier ID, supplier name, year, statement status, and POID. You can filter down more further as you want to if you want to see any particular transaction or for a particular merchant or a supplier. Yet again, this will be defaulted to the current fiscal year. You can always drill down and make selection for the year you want to see the data for. As you can see here, these are the only transaction displayed here where the transaction threshold amount is $2,500 or more. If we can select the statement status as approved, only approved transactions will be shown over here. You can get all the details here further down as you know the, the business unit, department name, merchant name, the supplier ID associated with it, the supplier name, supplier location ID, the managing account, the transaction number for the PCAR transaction, then which is the line number for that particular transaction, the transaction date, as well as the bill date, what is the transaction status, what is the amount of that PCAR transaction, as well as the POID, if that transaction has POID or not. PO line number, buyer name, what is the budget status on the PO, as well as what is the voucher ID. As you can see, since these are only approved transactions, this does not have any voucher ID created yet. Now let's go on closed transactions. So if you can see the closed transactions, you can further see the voucher IDs for all of those transactions. So this is the main thing for the transaction details valued at $2,500 and more. Now let's go to one particular business unit. And I'm going to see the data only for 8880. As you saw in the overview tab, there are only two transactions amounting to $2,500 and more, and these two transactions are displayed over here. We also saw there was no POID for one transaction, even though the amount was greater than $2,500. This is also indicated here. However, there is a second transaction which has the POID as well as the voucher ID created for it. So this is how you can determine which transactions are required to create a PO. Now further down, let's move on to the PCAR transaction details by merchant. So let's go ahead and also select the particular business unit. Here, there are different parameters, business unit, department, merchant, supplier ID, supplier name, year, and statement status. The business unit and the year is required parameters. As you can see, I have selected 7760 
and the fiscal year is the current year. This report consists almost the same columns as the previous one. Business unit, department name, merchant name, supplier ID, supplier name, supplier ID location, managing account, transaction number, transaction line number, transaction date, bill date, transaction line status, amount, PO ID, PO line number, budget status, and voucher ID. Furthermore, if you want to select the particular merchant and see how much you have spent for that particular merchant in the current fisc, uh, current calendar year, you can always do the right click and select the drill through and go to the cumulative amount details by merchant. Once you click on this tab, for that particular merchant, all the transaction will be shown regardless of the dollar amount. And once this report is generated, you can clearly see how much amount you have spent for this particular merchant for the current calendar year. And now you can immediately see the cumulative amount column that until for this year, until now, you have spent total amount of $28,562. As you can see, the POID column is blank, which indicates there is no PO created for any of these transactions. However, as per the policies explained earlier, whenever the department reaches $7,500 for any particular merchant for any calendar year, a PO has to be created regardless of the dollar amount. So in order to be in compliance with the policy, the department should start creating the purchase order starting from the transaction on 1-31-2022. And for all the remaining transaction, the PO has to be created because they have spent $7,500 and more for this particular merchant. Once you have to go back, you can just click on this button and you can be redirected to the previous page. I can again state that, that all the policy related questions should go to DGS. Now, furthermore, let's select any other supplier. Again, drill through and the cumulative amount details by merchant. Again, for this one, the same data will be shown regardless of the dollar amount, total transactions for this particular calendar year. It takes a little bit of time to generate this report. As you can see here, now the cumulative amount totals are already generated and the threshold amount was already exceeded here at this transaction line. So departments should be creating the purchase order for all of these transactions. Now look, let's go back and select a different unit. So now let's see the transaction data for 8880. Again, I will be going through the same thing for the drill down option. I will select the merchant and show the cumulative amount details by merchant. As you can see here, they have not spent a lot of amount or money on this particular merchant, so there is no need to create the purchase order as well as the transactions are not amounting to $2,500 or more. So this is for P-card transaction details by merchant. Now let's move on to our last dashboard. This is the P-card transaction details by chart fields. As you can see that there are a lot of filtering options here, and you can filter the data as you want or as there is a need. Again, this will be defaulted to the business unit, whatever business unit you will have access to, as well as the current calendar year. So that data will be shown always. This report is similar to our query that is a ZZ US Bank statement query, which is used in Fiscal. So this dashboard will provide you the same result as the query, ZZ US Bank statement query. And the columns are also the same used for that query. So you will be able to filter the data as per the need. As you can 
go further down. You can see here there are more columns added and just note the voucher ID. There is a voucher date, invoice ID, invoice amount and the payment status. So these columns are also added for this particular report. Additionally, there is one new dashboard which will be coming up very, very soon that will provide you the transaction details for the merchants, which are $7,500 and more, which have already reached that threshold. So every single time, department does not have to do the drill down here. So the additional dashboard will give you that information where you can directly see all the merchants which have already reached that threshold. So this is the overall for the PCAR transaction details by merchant. Now let's go to about page one more time. So this is the PCAR transaction report and all of these information is provided here and the other reports or queries that can be used to validate data is this ZZ US Bank statement. Furthermore, there is other information about the statues for the reference. So for the government code, users can directly click over here and it will take you to the page for these sections. As well as the public contract code, again, same here. You can simply click over here and it will take you to that particular section. And if you see any issues for this report or if you want to see how uh, you can get the access to this report, please reach out to the Fiscal Service Center. And that concludes our demo for the PCAR transaction report. Thank you. Thanks very much, Ajita. That's great as always. Um, I got to tell you that about page, that's pretty special with all that information for uh, finding out everything you need to know. That's great. That's a good addition. Sounds great. Thank you, Jim. Thanks again for being with us today. I appreciate it. Have a good one.